Hey everyone, today we're gonna to do a quick video to talk about how to improve the way you're gonna handle all of these like remote band concerts you wanna make. What seems simple at first can be complicated when you're suddenly working with a wall of files. So what I'm gonna talk about is designing a way to work with all that media that makes sense and keeps it straight. And we're gonna do it in three minutes. And we're gonna talk about not only how you adjust the media, how you organize it, but how you keep that flow make sense all the way through the edit to save you time. Three minutes on the clock, let's go. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do when you set out to do this is create a dedicated place you're gonna keep all of the media. This is not the same place you're gonna collect it. You need an in-between set between collecting it to where you store it because the structure you make there, we're gonna keep consistent all the way through the edit, even if you're making use of a lot of different programs. So what we have here is where my files end up once I ingest them on a project. So here we go, we see name of the work and we can open it up and we see it's broken down by instrument. Pause, or it's broken down by instrument. And we can open it up and we see a whole bunch of information. And the one thing you're gonna notice is there's no .mov files. Let's back up a second. Since most of your students or people you're working with are recording on a cell phone, a bunch of people have Apple products and you're gonna get .mov files. And if you don't hate .mov files, <laughs> <laughs> you are going to. So there's a step we want to take before we move them over. It's called handbrake. So MOV has some issues. And one thing it does is it loves variable frame rates and we don't want that. We want one frame rate beginning to end. So all you do when you get your file, get handbrake, it's free. We can drop a file into here like so, it'll scan it. We can change it into an MP4 video. We can set it to our video codec we want, give it a constant frame rate, and we're happy, and export it to where it needs to go. That's all you have to do, back to the folder. Okay, so now we see this folder, we have it all set up. Once the things enter this folder, we're ready to edit. So let's jump to our editing software. All right, so now, now what we're looking at here is a really messy edit of mine I'm doing. Uh, currently, there's what, 20, 22 files or so in here, give or take. What's important here, if you look over whoop, in our project window, you can see the exact same format I use, including my reference track is housed outside all the other folders, which is right here. The other thing you know is colors. Colors are great. You can look at the score and you can go, wow, oh, all the clarinets are green. When we bring the files in, we're just gonna drop it right into the clarinet bin. And once you add it to your timeline and sync it up, make a done folder, put everything in there so you're not going, have I added this yet? And you're clicking through the videos one at a time trying to figure out, did I add it or not? Make a subfolder. Which brings me to my next point. You're, you're looking at this really horribly unorganized thing. At the end of the day, all of this audio, I think we're gonna have around 40 tracks to 60 tracks, is gonna be gone. It's being edited somewhere else. That somewhere else is using the exact same file format so we can always find the files we're looking for and we don't forget to put a little Timmy or Sarah or Tommy in the video. Use a good file format. And then when we're done, we export it. Color code, keep a consistent file format, handbrake those MOV files. This will make your life a little bit easier. This is step one of many. Gonna be some other videos Eric and I make. I'm back. And Eric, Eric's being the, the co-conspirator on this little project who's handling all the audio, I'm doing the video, and because we're collaborating on a shared folder, file storage is even more important. A little snapshot into uh, a little way to clean up your organization to make what was a simple idea at the beginning because acapella could knock it off in just like an afternoon and you'll spend some time. 